as an educator, as a, an observer, as a special educator, one of the things I've, I've noticed across a wide um, age group, um, range of ages and grade levels, has been children counting on their fingers or or I guess I guess um, this lack of fluidi fluidity with numbers um, kids oftentimes who have the most difficulty with math mathematics are the ones who have this inability to make generalizations about numbers or to see numbers as being these rigid blocks uh, and they can't manipulate numbers um, and what I mean by that is, you know, when, when we see numbers like 10, uh, we, we see these numbers as combinations of 5 and 5, 2 and 8, 1 and 9. Um, and, but we're able to play with them. We're able to break these numbers into smaller components. Uh, children who have difficulty with mathematics, uh, who struggle with mathematics early on or later on, they, they, they have this rigidity where, where they see numbers as being these... Um, these immovable blocks. Um, so many times, you know, when, when you ask a child with these with these difficulties, um, a verbal um, math problem like what's seven and five, you know, a lot of times they'll do one of two things: they'll they'll count out with their fingers, um, or um, they'll they'll draw it out. Um, you know, as an additional problem on paper, or, or they'll draw it out, you know, and um, drawing objects, 7 plus 5, and then it counts it out. So they're not able to make these generalizations about numbers. Now, when we hear about 7, and five, seven plus 5, we automatically think 12. Um, one of the ways that we can do that is, um, we know uh, uh, 7 and 3 is 10, and then 3 more, um, uh, and then 2 more is 12. Uh, so we create this anchor of 10 when we're doing 7 and 5. Or, or when we're looking at 5, we're, we have 5 as the anchor, and we know 5 and 5 is 10, and 2 more is 12. Um, so one of, the, one of the concepts that I really want to develop with, with younger kids, or kids who have difficulties with mathematics, is um, these anchors of 5 and 10, um, or concepts of 5 and 10. And one of the ways that I do that is using uh, Black Line Masters, which I've made using Publisher, um, or you can find them online. Um, they're usually known as dot frame cards. Uh, these are um, 10 frame cards, um, and they're 10 frames because um, they have 10 boxes. Uh, it's a 2 by 5 array, uh, 5 boxes on top and 5 boxes on the bottom, um, and they're as you can see, there there are dots in each of them. So this would actually represent the number ten. This would be uh, a blank uh, ten frame card, and this would represent the number zero. Uh, but before we use uh, ten frame cards, I think it's important, especially when you're when you're first using um, the dot frame cards, is whether it's a younger group or it's the first time you're using them, is to start with five frame cards. So five frame cards um, are just it's just a one by five array instead of the two by five arrays. And when I'm first introducing this to a child, um, you know, I'm just giving it a very basic, um, just letting them know this is a, a five frame card and um, some of the counters I have. Let me just take some of the counters out. And these are just very basic chipboard counters that um, I found in one of the art rooms or the wood shop rooms. I thought it would it fits perfectly with my five and ten frames. Um, you know, the first thing I I do with kids is you know I'll count out um, three counters. Uh, put it on the frame and just ask children to make some observations. Tell me about what they see. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll say, well, this is the number three, there are three counters. Okay, great, thank you. Um, another thing they might say is, well, this is the same thing as saying um, there's two less than five, or this is five minus two, which is three. I've heard that also. Uh, 
the point isn't, you know, about right and wrong. We want kids to make these generalizations and have them explain what they observe and why they observe what they observe. And after they become more comfortable with 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 the five frames, is we can start building um, some of their generalizations. Um, uh, we can start building um, their anchors of five. And what I mean by that is um, we can start using other five five frame cards and having them um, tell us what number it is, how much more to five, how much less than five this number is, have them complete it to and if three more counters is five or five minus three counters is two. Um, so we're having them hand them, we're having them work with um, the, the five frames. So they're developing um, this anchor of five. So eventually, you know, once I, I've worked with, um, with children for a while using these activities, basically what happens is um, we, we start treating it like flashcards. You know, they'll see a number two and they'll, they'll automatically say um, two, uh, three more is five, five minus three is two. Uh, and, and we'll do that for, you know, like the wide range of numbers uh, from one through five. So after they develop the sense of five, we can move on to um, the next progression, which is an anchor of ten.